Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day. 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see newsletters right at the top. It's on the left-hand side, the second one down. You can get the opening call for $149 for one month. For six months, $695, which is a savings of $199, uh, 22% in one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of 33% or $593. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. You've had some good weather up there. I had a good we, week last week, man. <laughs> we, yeah, it's very nice, uh, especially playing tennis outdoors. It's nice. Good. Otherwise, it gets too hot. Yeah. Nice. So, so market-wise. Okay. Huh? So there are a bunch of things that we're looking at here. There are a bunch of techniques that I use uh, in the Chapman Wave, and uh, as you as you mentioned, so if anyone uh, signs up for my, uh, becomes a subscriber to the opening call, they automatically get all my archives, a lot of them, all these different techniques. So what we're looking at here on the, on the left side, <clears throat> excuse me, is the Dow chart, the daily chart. In the middle is the weekly. <clears throat> on the right is the monthly. Okay. Right down here is the 120-minute chart. But what we are looking at is that um, in the technique that I used, we got a low on August the 5th. Uh, we went, we, we long-term, uh, long the Dow. We've been short and long in between. But we added to a long positions on the day of the low, and we added again. So what we've seen is a really strong move up in leg B. So I just wanted to show you this here for those people who are not used to my technique. I try to identify the lowest low bar, and then each successively higher peak is alphabetized and, and sequentially. So it goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But it's the fourth highest peak, peak D, where other things can happen. And the whole thing is we want to go from a buy signal to a buy mode. An upgrade to a buy mode implies that there should be at least four higher peaks to D. It can go higher, but the obligation in the Chapman wave for an upgrade from buy signal to buy mode says should go to four higher peaks. So where are we? We've gone to an upgrade in the Dow Daily. We're in, we're in leg B. We actually went to a higher high today. So this is still leg B. Because the technicals, the nine period moving average is strongly over the 14, and the price is way over the nine, and the MACD is strong as the MACD, the red, this little gray line here on the daily chart, that's the relative strength index, strong. The stochastic is almost at 80%. That's kind of the, 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 last, the last technical tool to say if you get to the 80% area, that's a really good sign because you've got some buoyancy to the upside. So we're almost there. We haven't quite got there. And the blue line on balance volume says a little bit overboard so you can have a pullback. And that's kind of what we're seeing today. So what's really exciting about this is I have another technique that I, where I draw trend lines from the, the previous major high. In this case, 41,376 point. I've been talking about this for a while. Zero, zero, an exact round number when you're up at 40, 41,376 for an index. This is not like a stock. This is a conglomerate of 30 stocks anyway. So I thought that was important on the 18th of July. And we came tumbling down to 38,499. And now we've come back. So the high that was made in the second, the lower high in July gave me a trend line. And I used that. And look, this is called the Chapman Wave Inside Track repellent zone, the green line and the pink line. And look what's happened. The price got in and all of a sudden it's starting to stall. So you want to see, we're using this particular technique, that this repellent zone becomes a propellant zone. And then we use another technique, it's called the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge, dashed green on the way up and it's pink on the way down, dashed green target resistance line. So that's a little bit higher. And that's really the target line that I'm looking at in this particular phase. So I believe that the Dow should go to at least four higher peaks. We haven't made a peak B yet, so that takes us until uh, if, if tomorrow's down, that's Wednesday, and the next day is up, that gives you a C. And then the next day, Friday, if it's down, that's only a peak C. So it takes you until next week at the earliest to get the D where we have to make some kind of a decision. 
Now, I also use another technique where I use a, a particular uh, plumb line. I try to take it to the very bottom. The number of bars from the top to the bottom should equal the number of bars on the right. But sometimes it's a little lopsided. Um, if I did that to the low that was made on the fifth, uh, today or tomorrow should be a test of the all-time high. I just don't see that. So I've got this trend line that says that sometime early next week, we should be trying for the 41,376 all-time high. So that's the daily. And the weekly okay. chart is still very positive. And the monthly chart, even though it's in leg E, all the technicals are still very strong. So, so far, that's a good sign. So for subscribers to my opening call, besides the daily newsletter, um, that I call the Trader's Corner. That's where we've got all our positions. I also have a daily Dow analysis at the end of the um, to tell you what's going, what I'm anticipating is going to happen, what has happened, etc. But I also try to give my subscribers a mix of small, uh, low price stocks in the uh, single digits, double digits, triple digits. So there's a real mix. So uh, we have a, a particular position right now. G E N I is the symbol. I spoke uh, last week about it. This is very interesting. Genius Sports Limited data betting uh, marketing. It's a London outfit, and he has the same technique that I just drew for the Dow. This is the, this is now the daily chart where there's a beautiful cup formation going to 7.51, or the high that was made back in February at 7.77. Uh, what I said to subscribers, we're going long. We've actually got a trading position. We've taken something off, and we've got a core position. And today it did exactly – look, here's the exact – here's the plumb line that I used. This is the green – and it came yesterday, went right to the very bar that should have been at 751. It went slightly higher. And today it tested the most uh, 2024 high, which was up at the 771 level. It went to 779. So this is a pattern that we look at, a cup formation. I try to find what I call the plumb line, what I call a midpoint. So the number of bars on the left to the bottom, in this case, going back to the top equal and that's exactly what's happened here, and it's only a leg C. So this is a good sign. And you can see in the weekly chart, uh, the technicals are already improving a lot, and you've got that cup formation is in leg D. Nice. So this is a di the, different <clears throat> the different price categories. Oh, excuse me. Um, another one that we've got is the gold, is formed by ABX, which is Barrick Gold. It was doing so nicely. <clears throat> oh, my, let me have a sip of tea. Then mm. that's okay. moving, that's for sure. Yeah, it's moving very nicely. And I had this cup formation with the plumb line over there, and it took it out a day early, and it's now in leg D. So, yeah, I've got, I've got to be a little careful at D's. We're always a tad careful, but it's doing very well. So, we've got price categories, stocks, only long positions in all price categories, and we're doing very well so far. It's a beautiful thing. Listen, folks, get over to our website at TFNN. Go right into newsletters. We see the second one down on the left hand side. Guys, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Sorry, there, folks. Come right back.